All right, Lions and Cubs, welcome back. This is our June 1st activity video. Now it's going to be kind of a two-parter because what I'm going to do is show you right now how to build the boats and then I'm going to take a little video of us testing them out in our little pool. So we'll see how it goes and I can't wait to see and hear from you how your boats go. Maybe you can show us in your, in our Zoom meetings this week. Okay. Now, there's a couple of different options. Uh, I'm going to show you two different kinds of boats and maybe you can come up with other kinds of materials and a different style of boat. I would love to hear what you made. I am going to first of all use some aluminum foil and this one is a good one to, I'm going to fold it in half. And then there's lots of different ways that I could turn this into a boat. So depending on how big you want your boat, I'm thinking I'm going to make mine a little bit small, but a little bit sturdier. Try it with a single layer. See what happens. Mine's now been folded and is going to be a little bit more more sturdy, a little stronger. And then I'm going to fold up the sides. I was thinking maybe to do kind of a rounded one, but I'm not sure the best way to do that. So we'll just have to kind of try it out, see what works for you. How can you fold this into a boat? Okay, that's not gonna let any water in. Because right? as soon as water gets in a boat, what happens? It sinks. Right. Okay. So the nice thing about foil is that you can kind of crinkle it and mold it and make it kind of go the way that you want it to go. So here we are. I have a little boat. This one is super simple because you just kind of have to fold it up. Maybe you can make it into like a little round shaped boat or maybe it's a rectangle or maybe you're going to give it some fancy kind of shape and I'd love to see what you do. Now this one, I just kind of crumpled up the corners and folded it up and I'm going to use this one to test out whether it floats, first of all, is it going to float in the water and can it hold anything? How much will it hold inside my little boat? Okay. And then if you're going to test that out, you might want to use things like coins or maybe you want to use some little pebbles or maybe you want to use some little animals or Lego pieces, whatever you can find that you can just gradually add more and more into and see how much, how strong is it? How much can it hold? Okay. Another kind of fun boat. Uh, I showed you I had that little jar lid. Uh, I'm going to take that and I'm going to take some Play-Doh. Okay, don't need a whole ton of it, just a little blob of it. I'm going to take a popsicle stick and plastic might be a good choice. You could maybe use the tin foil again. Um, paper will work, but I wonder if it gets a little soggy, if it wouldn't be the best for a sale. So I'm going to use some foil because it's waterproof. And I'm just going to cut this into a little triangle shape. Okay. And then I will glue, or even because it's foil, I could, I'm just going to trim it a little bit. I feel like that might be just a little bit too big. Okay, so I'm going to trim that. And then because it's foil and it'll crinkle nicely and fold nicely, I'm actually just going to wrap it around. Okay. It may not stick, so I may need to use like a little sticker or something or maybe some glue uh, to make it stick. And my glue stick seems to have walked off again. There it is. So I'm going to use a little tiny bit of glue. This boat is super simple to make. 
and again, test it out. See how well uh, white glue will work better or even um, hot glue gun if you have it or cool glue gun, glue gun will work well. And then I'm just going to wrap that around again. And I'm going to take that Play-Doh, that little blob of Play-Doh that I have, stick my popsicle stick in there to hold it up, and then just kind of flatten it out inside the lid. Now, test it out. Is there too much Play-Doh? Is this going to even float? It seems kind of heavy, so maybe I need to use less. Maybe it's super strong. Maybe I can even add some little things in there. Maybe I could put some little animal toys in there and maybe it'll float. I don't know. I'm going to end this video right quick here and take you guys outside because my kids filled up the pool and are uh, waiting to test out these boats. So bring them out. We're going to test them out and see how much they hold. I'll do a little video of that and, uh, and then I can't wait to hear about your boats what you made. Send me pictures or bring them to the Zoom meetings. All right. See you soon.